was good y'all red salsa back in the building with another banger and as y'all can see man by the looks of the title and the screen today i am bringing y'all a very comp big man build going to be called the skilled interior force and this build is going to be able to shoot post up get all of the contacts and even do a little bit of dribbling y'all now the defense on this build very very solid so before we get into anything else i just gotta say all glory goes to the god one above thank y'all so much for having me in your day as well as me and you combining together just to link up it really means a lot to me that y'all have been coming through and going crazy this year now before we do anything else man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you knew anybody looking to join rgf the rich gang family go ahead and turn on post notifications but also don't forget to hit that like button can we go ahead and get 50 big banger likes on this video i would appreciate that that is definitely gonna help me get this video to the recommended pages so now let's go ahead and get into the actual breakdown of this build we're gonna go ahead and put it under the power forward position now i'm telling you the way that this build is gonna come out to be very solid and for the rare build name that we're gonna get honestly gonna be one of the best usable rare builds in any game mode which is gonna make it even better so when it comes down to the pie chart we got to go ahead and pick a very specific one go ahead and drop it down right here to the blue and the red but the one with a little bit more of the blue than the red now i'm telling y'all you're still going to be able to shoot middies on this build now let's go ahead and get into the physical profile a lot of people like to go with the pure speed one which is the very first but look at the huge boost we get for the fourth one out of our vertical not taking a big hit when it comes to the speed and excel so i'm going to go ahead and pick this one if you want to go with the first one go ahead and do it but i'm telling y'all overall in my opinion this one is going to be much better now let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of this build y'all so as for the finishing side of things we're gonna go with a close shot of 88 which is going to allow us to hit some post hook moves driving dunk max that out and the same thing with the standing dunk we get 24 badges which is super solid right here for the finishing side of things a lot of hall of fame badges as well and now as for the shooting to make this build more versatile go ahead and put that mid-range shot to a 62 three-pointer Put it to a 33 for badge purposes and then for that free throw go ahead and put this to a 77 and the post fade of 71 y'all now that's going to give us seven shooting badges which is going to be good for this build right here onto the playmaking we're going to go with a pass accuracy of 67 ball handle we're actually going to go ahead and adjust this to where we get 14 badges and then the post control max it out at 73 so far looking so good between the shooting and the playmaking that's 21 badges then go ahead and also add in the fact that we get the 24 from the finishing now onto the defense interior 80 perimeter 56 lateral quickness max it out block max it out as well and then put the rest into the defensive rebound for 18 badges y'all super solid i'm telling y'all everything that goes into this build definitely going to be able to run the big as well as take it into any game mode y'all that's really what i was looking for and then on top of all that just remember we also get the contact dunks unlocked for the standing dunk and then the driving dunk combine both of these together really going to be a nice build all around so now as for the body shape if you want to go ahead and take up the most space go ahead and pick burly or you can also go with builds really going to go ahead and be based off of your own preference again i like to go and pick one that is going to take up the most space so that's why i choose between these two then when it comes to that height go with six seven weight max it out to the most and then drop it down to 273 and that's going to be perfect because it's not going to affect any of the physicals as well as the main stats that we get for this build now when it comes down to the rest of the way for the wingspan of course you want to go ahead and put this to 89.0 y'all really when it comes down to it you're still going to be able to shoot with a 63 mid-range mid-ranges are not hard with boost and grinding this build out to 99 close shot will be a 99 driving dunk 99 and the standing dunk a 99 as well you also will be able to speed boost with this build especially when you get boost run with a teammate that has floor general and then on top of all that remember consider the boost that you get from the takeover y'all now with the defense a lot of these stats are going to jump 
from 70s to 80s and then 80s into the 90s which makes it even better then also we get that plus eight to our physicals y'all so the speed going to be an 85 vertical 99 strength 80 and then for the acceleration gonna be in the 80s as well y'all so when it comes down to it all around this build i have to say when it comes to any type of rare build this one is going to be one of the best because it's going to be able to do everything any type of made a big build will be able to do as well now the takeovers are really going to remind me of what the playmaking paint beast look like except we get the playmaking post scoring slashing and then the rim protecting takeover y'all all of these are going to be very toxic on this build especially with that post scoring close shot definitely going to be overpowered this year but when it comes down to the playmaking if you want to break ankles and speed boost that would be the one that i would go with if you're looking to have a little bit more fun on this build with new animations and as y'all can see like i said we have created the first ever skilled interior force with all of the contact dunks going to be able to speed boost break ankles and that is going to be the best thing about this build especially when you get that takeover activated now remember you're going to be getting the plus four to your main stats then when you add boost also run with a teammate that has floor general and also on top of all that even if you're running with a teammate that has defensive leader going to be a very nice build to be using now let's go ahead and get into the batch count the first one i'm going to hit y'all with is going to be the finishing right here you have to go ahead and put on the most important batch to get those contact dunks which is going to be posterizer on hall of fame now when it comes down to the next one I got to go ahead and say that Limitless Takeoff is going to be the best one that we're going to be able to work with when you pair it up with Posterizer, y'all. Now, again, Slithery Finisher is going to be another one of those badges that are going to be paired up with the Posterizer. You cannot forget Rise Up with that 99 Standing Dunk. And then, for the last eight, one that I feel like is going to be very important is going to be Fast Twitch. And then with the last four... If you want to spread the wealth, you definitely can do so. You could go with Back Down Punisher. I really feel like it's going to make this build even better, especially with that post scoring takeover if you decided to go that route. But now, let's go ahead and check out another batch that you can throw on. If you want to, you could go with Mouse in the House or Fearless Finisher. It really comes down to your preference again, but for mine, I feel like this is going to be the best finishing setup that we can get. Now, let's go ahead and get into the shooting, what is actually going to make this build more versatile seven shooting badges so the very first one that i'm gonna go with hot zone hunter on gold you can change up the tiers of these badges if you want to but just to spread the wealth i'm gonna go with volume shooter green machine dead eye and then for the very last one i'm gonna hit y'all with is going to be corner specialist y'all now you can change any of the setups if you want to but now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking 14 badges that we're gonna be able to work with so right here i really love to spread the wealth as well I'm going to go with quick first step on gold from there you also cannot forget to go ahead and throw an unpluckable at least on bronze y'all now another one that i really like for this build triple threat juke as well as hyperdrive and also if you want to consider you can go ahead and put on quick chain if you want to split these badges up with going with silver or you could even go with bronze it really comes down to your preference or you could pick one or the other as well just to get more badges in other areas so right here i really love to put them both on gold and for the last one if you're running 3v3 or even on the twos i would highly recommend bailout that is easily one of the best if not the best slept on bronze badge that you will see when it comes down to this game for the playmaking side now when it comes down to defensive side y'all first one y'all have to go with intimidator on gold from here you definitely want to go ahead and put on badges that are going to help you out more so for the 1v1 court because you can definitely take this build to that if you want to so i'm going to go ahead and put on hustler clamps we got nine more which means if you want to you could go with three straight up gold badges or spread the wealth for me i'm going to go with rebound chaser as well as rim protector very solid i'm going to go ahead and drop rim protector down to silver just so i can put on bronze chase on artist then as well i'm also going to go ahead and put on interceptor this one is really very nice when it comes down to the setup now another one that i really like is going to be menace so if you want to change anything of these badges you definitely can do so also you can even change it up so we get both gold rim protector and chase down really 
there is no limit to what you can do with this build for this setup but this is something that i'm gonna go with 18 defensive 14 playmaking 7 shooting and then we get the 24 finishing y'all again i just gotta say thank god for giving me this opportunity to be able to be a part of your life and have you in mind it means so much to me and i just need y'all to know that i love y'all i appreciate y'all so man the weekend is back that means the double uploads are coming so man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new anybody who wants to join rgf and all are welcome Go ahead and turn on post notifications, but also do not forget to hit that like button. Let's get 50 big likes on this banger. Share it with your family and friends. And man, last but definitely not least, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Thank God and Rich out.